you'll check this out. I'm out here fishing with Ryan today. We're going to be suspending some baits for some flathead, maybe messing around for some channel cats and some carp. But Ryan does this with his, his live bait. It's definitely, that's a game changer right there. I'll maybe try and get him to show us how to do that here in a little bit. I'll be damned. How you like that? That's pretty nifty right there now. I've been that for about two or three years now. You just drop it out the back. Straight down. And then I give it a straight down. wondering what size jig you use for three ounce. I was gonna say I figured they had to be huge. White bass. That's a nice white bass. Heck yeah. Come on small shad. I take these, I scale them. Olive oil, and salt and pepper, a little garlic, and just gut them. Put them in the air fryer. You want to talk about good? You think it was Chilean sea bass, man? Heck yeah. Ooh, look at my bluegill. Uh oh. Ooh, look at my bluegill. That's fish, dude. Yeah, because he's got some consistent pressure on it, he's doesn't he? got it? it, dude. We're going to let him eat it. Hopefully he didn't just have the bluegill. Hopefully he's got the whole hook and everything in his mouth. You get one, he's sucking on it. The carp can suck something off the bottom from 15 feet away. Another reason I like to fish out of the side of the boat. You got more room. Than packing them all on the yeah, back like this? Packing them all on the back like this. End up with a mess once you get hooked up on we one. We make a move. I'm, I think I'm done with the flathead. We'll fish for some channel cat and some carp. I don't think we got any more live bait, do we? No. No. White bass. Yeah. <laughs> you get a 50 He's, or 60 Yeah, I was going to say, that white bass will definitely bring a 50 or 60. I only got five ounces of lead, though. I don't know if it'll hold in there. I don't think it would. Come on, baby. Yeah, I'm ready for him to fold it. <laughs> ready for that one. Right, he just keeps pecking at it. <laughs> kernel by kernel. It's probably that same one swimming around with a hook in his yeah, jaw. It's an extra crispy kernel. Get him, get him, you got it. Yep, there he is. Oh, good God. Yeah. Did it? Ooh, that's a good carp. Yeah, that? it is. Yeah, go ahead and grab it. Yeah. Alright, too shabby. Nice. Good carp. 
Yeah, he ain't too sure. He's gonna be angry. Here you go, dude. Yes, thank you. Yep. I'm done with the flathead. Let's go get some cards. I'll tell you what. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> They're fun, ain't they? Uh-huh. Can't beat fun for a good time. There it is, not a bad carp. We'll get him back in the water. This is money. Sweeping curb, sandbars, deep hole, brush. Bunch of brush. This is money. Enough current to hold the boat sideways. This is how I fish. This is my typical rig, right? This here. is your setup. Yep. Come on, cop sucker. There's always something to catch. If the species you're after aren't cooperating, change species. That's right. Switch gears. Pick, 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 pick. Was that shad or corn? I can't remember. I think it's corn. If it's shad, it's a gar. Shaking his head. Mm. Oh yeah, you got my other line. But I got him on the. He's out of the it. The old ugly stick. Is that a carp? <laughs> oh, take and drag. Yeah. Take and drag. He ain't messing around. Oh yeah, he ain't bad. Come right between these two rocks. Oh yeah, that's a darn good one. There we go. Heck yeah, brother. The old rusty river hook. Bad at all. this one special shout out to ryan dot i appreciate you taking me out buddy sharing some knowledge of the river with me definitely had a great time hope you guys enjoyed this one remember folks you can't catch them sitting on the couch i'll see you on the next one